Okay, so we're going to talk about um, if your bike is not shifting properly, what is going on with it. Um, so basically, there's a couple different things that, that could be going wrong. First of all, you want to check your chain with a chain checker to make sure that your chain and your drivetrain is not worn out. That could be one reason why it's skipping. This chain is completely fine. It's brand new. Um, the chain checker is not going into the chain at all. Um, another thing that's really, really common is especially um, if you're going up to, into apartment building or you're going through doors all day um, in and out of offices is um, this back here um, is called a derailleur, ha derailleur hanger and um, your derailleur actually connects to that and that bends um, if you hit against the derailleur maybe against the door something else maybe you take it maybe you crash a little bit so that if that's bent um, what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to bend it back it's a specialty tool um, that could be the reason that it's skipping in the back gears um, another reason could be that you're just your cable tension is off. So your cable tension is either a little bit too low or a little bit too high. You can adjust that with your barrel adjuster here. Um, basically, if it's not going up fast enough, you can tighten it. So by turning it left, or you can loosen it if it's not going down to the to the highest gears um, by turning it right. Also, um, it could be that your derailleur is either worn out or broken, um, or the shifter is broken. So Sometimes the shifters inside here, like their mechanisms, um, break down over time and just stop working properly. And then also the, uh, the derailleurs, after, over time, using them a lot, they just start to wear out. Um, so that could be another reason why. Um, some of the reasons that you, uh, that you may have trouble with your shifting is uh, you may hear a lot of noise. And we find that um, a lot of uh, customers come in and they say they have a lot of noise with the bike. Their shifting is actually works very, very well. Um, but what some people don't understand is that they may be in cross gears. So basically what that means is that, let's say, I'll put the bike in a cross gear right now. Um, so basically what that means is, let's say you're on the lowest gear up here, and then you're in the highest gear on the front. That's a cross gear, and you can hear all that noise that it's making, it's grinding up against the uh, derailleur. The chain works best when it's completely straight. If it's at an angle, it's not gonna work very well. Also, these derailleurs aren't made to go in cross gears. Um, sometimes, like higher end shifters, they have like a little middle section where you can ride in cross gears. It's not usually recommended because it wears out your chain and your drive chain faster. So it's not that your derailleurs are out of adjustment, it's just that the, uh, the, the derailleurs are not being used properly. The other reason that your derailleur may be not working is that sometimes these get shifted. Um, the front derailleur may get shifted sideways. It may be too low, maybe too high. That's definitely a good thing to do uh, to take to a bike mechanic and see. Um, see what's going on with it. A lot of times uh, a professional can assess what's uh, going on with your shifting really, really quickly. Also, um, the last thing that we see a lot is we see that cables and housing um, is very corroded and basically it needs to move very, very smoothly through this piece of housing. So this is a piece of housing, the cable runs through it and um, if it's not running smoothly, especially in index, index shifting, which is click shifting, um, then it's gonna skip. Um, and it's not going to shift up to the proper gear or down to the proper gear fast enough. So that's usually what happens, uh, what we see most customers with um, if they're having shifting problems. Mm -hmm.